we are going in some direction that we call globalization. Unfortunately, in the last two decades where globalization became the mantra, it was primarily an economic mantra um, uh, promoted by the World Bank primarily, uh, which the mantra was if, if you can improve the economy, health, education, everything will follow. Well, with the financial crisis, uh, that sh proved not to be true. And unfortunately, during those times uh, when there were those economic projects, especially in urban centers, uh, the, uh, the public health infrastructure uh, and the monies uh, that uh, would usually support those, uh, uh, the net expenditures for health and education uh, really declined uh, and hoped that maybe the private sector would bring this along. That has not happened. So we really do need to redefine globalization um, and certainly economics will be there part of that definition, um, but health, education, and human rights need to be just as, just as dominant as the economics. And I think the younger generation who knows that they're going to be spending their productive years in this will probably be the group that will help define this. They don't have political clout right now, but when they do have political clout, uh, I think we're going to see all these aspects that I mentioned, even the uh, humanitarian profession becoming a career uh, being accelerated. Right now uh, we don't have the political clout to do that and uh, so we're, t we're, we're treading water but we can certainly see these things coming on the horizon.